I love how I named the script I can't what. Even when I was writing it, I was still in denial. Oh ha! Kimono time! Just one step closer to being a Sailor Scout. The f am I talking about? So guys, literally the most insane, crazy, beautiful thing happened, and there's no way to describe it other than how I just described it. I'm just gonna show you. I can't even. So how did I come to acquire these byproducts of the gods? My theory is that someone divided by zero while the T-virus broke out and after hell froze over. There's a squirrel out there! Oh my god! A squirrel! Come inside! I'll feed you stuff! Look at the squirrel! Oh my god, he's so cute! He has a tail! You're famous. He's like, what? Is this a food? Where am I going? I don't know. Oh my god, I can't get that squirrel off my mind! I wanna pet him. I love squirrels. I just really love squirrels. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about squirrels again. Okay, what really happened is about three months ago, I started dating this guy named Tim. And like most human beings, Tim was brought onto this planet by a father and a mother. Tim's dad was acquainted with someone who had the tickets but wasn't able to make it to the show. Ah. Oh. That must suck. So Tim's dad took them and in an enormous display of generosity and kindness, he called Tim first and decided he was going to give them to us. And we've been basically pinching ourselves ever since. Like, I'll literally sit in here for hours going, What? Green day. But why? Only nine days, bitches! I feel like a five-year-old waiting for like a sweaty rock and roll Christmas. And also, not only does Tim's dad get us the tickets, he pays for our trains, he pays for the tube in London, and he pays for our hotel. Ah! Dear Tim's dad, I owe you one super random act of kindness, a hug, and a boat. Yep, that should cover it. I don't really think this is gonna s- Oh, Brandy! Animals f off! I'm trying to record! I don't think this is really gonna sink in until I'm there and I see them on stage. How do you react to knowledge like that? I've been obsessing over Green Day for almost 10 years. They're three of my idols and they're going to be in the same room as me. That blows my mind. I'm just gonna leave the venue and go, okay, did that really just happen? <laughs> yes, it did. I can die now. What?